All right. May Shalom. First and foremost, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations unto the elect. All right. And in this lesson, all right, the title is going to be It is an honor to be persecuted slash demonized for the Lord. All right. And, uh, you know, the, what sparked me to do this lesson, you know, of course, you know, the Holy Spirit, you know, but it was a certain topic, you know, these, uh, you know, these certain scoffers are right, in uh, slanderers. You know, so I'll say I'll say scoffers and uh, mockers, you know, like Anton Daniels, all right, and um, you know, Vocab Malone, and you know, pretty much any anybody that you know comes against the truth, man. You know, they'll demonize us, all right, they'll say all manners of slanders and bad things against us. You know, but in reality, man, all we do, all right, is we go out in the highways and hedges as we're commanded of of our Lord, all right, and preach the word, man. All right, we uh you know go back to what uh you know go back to what we were doing, you know we're just preaching the word, man, the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. You know, we don't harm anybody. All right, we don't hurt a we don't hurt a single fly. You know, <laughs> all we do is just preach the word, man. All right, as our Lord did, and He commanded us to do the do the same. You know, and our Lord, He didn't hurt a fly either. You know, He didn't hurt anybody. You know, but yet. You know, uh, um, these people, all right, you got Vocab Malone, all right, Anton Daniels, for example. You know, you have many more scoffers and mockers. You know, they'll, you know, go out of their way to try and demonize, all right, us, the uh, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, we, in which I say that I'm talking about you know, the men of GMS, all right, the apostles and elders of GMS, all right, because, you know, we have the 100% truth. You know, we don't hurt a fly, man. All, right, all we do is preach the 100% truth. All right, but the truth cuts. All right, and that's what makes you guys want to demonize us. All right, and see our manners of uh, false things against us. All right, and speak against this truth. All right, because ultimately this truth cuts, man. All right, so I just want to get that word demonize. All right, uh, in uh, the meaning in the Google definition, it says to portray as wicked and threatening. All right, and that's how Volcam alone portrays us, our right, Anton Daniels. All right, and many other scoffers and mockers, they portray us as wicked all right, or threatening when in reality, all right, like I said before, all we do is preach the word, man. All right. You can't you know, or find us uh, a single video of us putting our hands on somebody because what we, we operate through the Holy Spirit, man. All right, and we ultimately follow the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man. All right. The scriptures say, be at peace. Uh, if it be possible, live peaceably with all men. You know, uh, also it says um, in the scriptures, be as wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. Right. Harmless. All right. So how are we threatening and all we're doing is preaching the word, man? Well, because really you guys are cut, man. You know, but um, I want to get you know, to the point, you know, you know, um, just as, you know, we're being demonized today all right, and uh, persecuted. Hey, our Lord, Yahweh was demonized and persecuted, man. All right, as the servant is not greater than the master, man. We are the servants of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so we have to go through the same things our Lord went through. You know, Yahweh Shai was without fault. He was without blame, you know, but it was just the word that he was preaching all right, and teaching them, uh, you know, uh, the fair wicked scribes and Pharisees wanted to kill him for. You know, he, he was without he was without blame. You know, so is we. We're without blame. We don't hurt anybody. Yahweh Shai didn't hurt, hurt anybody. You know, but I want to get, let's get, I want to get in these scriptures. So this is Matthew 5 and verse 10. It says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Right. Blessed. It says, blessed are they who are persecuted, man. So it's a good thing that you're being persecuted for righteousness sake. Right. Right. What is the righteousness sake? All right. For Yahweh Bashanel Shai, man. This truth. All right. So it's a good thing to be persecuted for righteousness sake, man. For this truth. It says, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, man. Verse 11, it says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Right. So it's a good thing if you have 
uh, people from other Hebrew Israelite camps. All right, Volcam alone, Anton Daniels, all these mockers and scoffers. You know, it's a good thing for these people to say uh, uh, wicked things against us, slander us. Oh, we great little children. How do we? No one, all right, in the, uh, no apostle, no elder, nobody in GMS has ever taught to go great little children, man. You know, but because you guys are so cut by this word and emotional, you guys, that's the only defense you have, man, to slander. You know, brothers have wives, right? Brothers have wives, man. Brothers have children at home, man. Brothers have jobs. And yeah, you want to, you know, say some false stuff like that, man? People are out of your mind, man. But, you know, the, the Lord, you know, won't allow that to go unpunished, man. You know? You know, so it's a good thing to be mocked and uh, persecuted, man. It's a good thing in the sight of the Lord, man. All right, so uh, verse 12, it says, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, right? So for being persecuted, demonized, reviled men, you know, being mocked. Right, it's, it's, it's good to do, uh, go through all this, all right, because we're going to have a great reward in, uh, in heaven, man. All right, for so persecuted they, the prophets, which were before you, man. All right, and even before the time of Yahweh shot, man, all right? You had Jeremiah, Isaiah, you know, all those prophets of old, they were being persecuted, man, by their own people too, you know? But, you know, now we're, we're in these times, hey, the uh, the one we look up to is Yahweh shot, man. Yahweh shot was persecuted. He was mocked, ridiculed, all right, demonized, all right? The same thing he went through, we had to go through, man. All right, because the servant is not greater than his master, man. And I'm going to get to that scripture, you know. So uh, let's get Matthew 10. All right. It's uh, verse 17. All right, it says, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues, right, being persecuted. 18, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. You know, and very soon you're going to, you know, have this persecution on a high level, man. You know, we're going to be delivered into courts, all right, being uh, sentenced to certain uh, judgments, maybe uh, beheaded or put in jail, you know, stuff like that. We're going to be put before uh, judges, man, in courts, man, you know. Very soon, man. Why? Be hey, because the scripture's saying, man. Well, verse 19, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. All right, he's saying don't worry about what you're going to say All right, when you are in these particular situations. All right, because what? Verse 20, for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father, which speaketh in you. All right. So the, hey, the, the heavenly father is going to ultimately speak through us. All right. Men of the Lord, man. All right. To uh, what we would say in, the, in uh, these particular situations, man. You know, verse 21. And the brother shall deliver up the and the, the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. And the father, the child and the children shall rise up against their parents. And cause them to be put put to death, right? So you even gonna have uh, members of your own household, uh, your mother, father, brother, sister, children. All right, and these times they won't you know uh, deliver you up to be uh, put to death, man. Persecuted. This is the times that we're coming into, man. You know, but hey, it says hey, rejoice. You know, as I was stating in Matthew five, or reading in Matthew five, man, rejoice. You know, when you are persecuted, man. All right, because we're great. Uh, is our reward going to be in heaven, man? You know? Verse 22, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Right, we're hated now by our own people. Other Hebrew Israelites group know the uh, GMS. I'm talking about G mainly GMS, man. All right, we're hated of these other uh, Hebrew Israelite groups. We're hated of this world, man. You know? But, hey, you know, as our Lord Yahushua was hated, we should, you know, hey, we're going to be hated too. It said, because what? We preach Yahushua, all right? But he that endureth to the end shall 
uh, Salaki, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Right. So if we endure all the trials and tribulations, all right, all the persecutions and uh, slanders and uh, mockery all right, and demonization, we endure all this. Hey, great is our reward going to be in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, and we're going to be saved all right, from the uh, nuclear destruction, man, which is to come. You know. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to make a point, but the Lord willing to come back to me. You know, but let's get John. All right, 15. Verse uh, 20. All right, and here's the point. You know, here's what I was you know, talking about before. All right, John 15 and 20 says, Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. All right, and who is the servants? All right, the servants are the prophets, man. All right, the apostles and elders and you no know, teachers of great millstone, man, you know, which we believe to be, you know, the the the, the true men of the Lord. All right, we, we say that humbly, you know, you know, really, ultimately, the elect, man, and we hope to be of that uh, hopeful number, man, the hopeful elect, you know, so the servant, right, the elect is not greater than his Lord. And who is our Lord? Yahweh Shai, all right, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus. His real name is Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew. Okay, and it says, if they have persecuted me, right, Yahweh Shai, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. So, hey, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees persecuted Yahweh Shai. All right, and it says, they will also persecute you, right? So, if Yahweh Shai was persecuted, hey, we're going to be persecuted also, man. And it's going to come to a higher level the more and more we, uh, you know, go through go throughout the days, man. All right, go throughout these through, through these prophecies. You know, it's going to uh, ramp up more and more. You know, and it says, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. All right. So, um, dang, point still hasn't came to me. But, yeah, you know, it's straight to the point. I'm going to get this other preset right here. And, uh, Peter, man. All right. Um, all right. Yeah. First Peter 4 and 1. All right. It says, for as much then as Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, all right, it just says Christ here, but in the Hebrew is uh, Hamashiach, all right, the anointing, all right, and it says, for as much then, uh, the anointed, all right, Hamashiach, have suffered for us in the flesh, right, by what, going on the cross, man, all right. It says, arm yourselves likewise with the same. And it's not even just, you know, it, it was even before that. You know, even before Yahweh Shai went on the cross, man. All right. He had to suffer many, like I you know, as the topic of this le lesson is, you know, he has to, he had to suffer many persecutions. All right. Many uh, um, demonizations, all right, uh, trials and tribulations. You know, he had to uh, run away from certain crowds that wanted to stone him. You know, he, he, you know, Yahweh Shai suffered a lot, man. You know, and all the way up until the, you know, the point of his, you know, his death, man, when he was on the cross. You know, <laughs> but, you know, it says for us in the flesh, you know, uh, as much as for as much then a Mashiach had suffered for us in the flesh. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Right. So we have to us being believers of Yahweh Shai, we have to arm ourselves with the same mind. Of Yahweh Shai, all right, to suffer, all right, because he suffered. You know, if we're going to be joint heirs with him, hey, we have to suffer too. Matter of fact, Lord willing, I might get that. You know, it says, so arm yourself likewise with the same mind, right? The mind of suffering, all right, the mind of going through persecutions and demonizations, man, all right, being delivered up uh, uh, by your own family members, you know, um, uh, being slandered. Being spoken of falsely, all these things we have to arm ourselves, you know, we have to, uh, you know, prepare our minds for that type of stuff, man. All right, it says, For he that has suffered in the flesh, right, has ceased from sin. All right, so through our sufferings, all right, through going through the trials and tribulations, are we purified? We're being purified, all right, through each suffering, man. Okay, so, um. Yeah, let's get that Romans, all right, because I quoted it, you know. Um, 
Let me see. There we go. 8 and 17. The Wadi Yahweh was Shai. says uh, Romans 8 and 17. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of the Most High. And joint heirs with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right. And who are the children? All right. The Israelites. Okay. And you have uh, uh, a chosen. All right. The chosen, which, you know, are the Israelites. But within that chosen, you have a chosen number. All right. Which is the elect, man. All right. And it says, if the children then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be glorified, also glorified together. All right. So if we suffer. In Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, we're going to be glorified with him, being joint heirs with him, man, in the kingdom of heaven. All right? So we have to, uh, you know, go through it in order to get to it. You know, we have to suffer with Yahweh Shai, all right? Because Yahweh Shai suffered too, man. You know, we have to suffer in order to get this kingdom, man. You know? And Lord willing, you know, will the, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai give us the strength all right, and the mental fortitude to be able to endure the sufferings, all right, and to remain until the end, you know, through all the persecutions and demonizations. And yeah, all right, it don't feel good to go through all these things, man. All right, to be uh, delivered up by your own family members, all right, to, uh, to these police, to the police, all right, to the officials, you know, to be persecuted by your own people, demonized by your own people, slandered against, mocked against, ridiculed. It don't feel good, you know. It don't feel good to the flesh. Of course, your flesh doesn't want that, you know, but hey, we're, we have to overcome the flesh, man, and walk after the spirit. You know, we have to overcome the flesh, man. You don't feel good to the flesh to be demonized and persecuted, you know, but we have to overcome that all right, through the spirit and walk after the spirit. You know. All right. So um, I think that was well, just going back hey. In order to get in order to get the reward, we have to suffer, man. We go back to Matthew five. You know, as us um get this point real quick, I'm gonna end it out. You know. Um it's lucky. Um Bear with me. All right, so like, yeah, Matthew 5 and 12, it says, Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven, right? For suffering, all right, you're going to receive that reward for suffering for Yahweh Shai, man. For so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. All right, so that was pretty much it, man. You know, the whole point of this lesson was to know, you know, just put that word out there, man. It's, uh, it, it, you know, we're going to go through it. All right, we're going to go through persecutions, all right, and, um, you know, different things, you know, uh, demonization, all right, slanders, mockery. We're going to go through all these things, man. But remember, man, it's a, it's an honor, all right, to go through that, all right, because our Lord Yahweh also went through it too, man. You know, and if we go through it with Yahweh all right, we're going to be joint heirs with him, man. All right, being joint heirs uh, to the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, that is soon to come, okay? So, um... Hey, um, with that, you know, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and peace and salutations, all right, unto you elect, and all, right, and all you sincere, all right, Akim and Akwath, you know, um, that follow after uh, GMS, you know. So uh, with that, Shalom Akim.